Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to set up an ISO tank for your hermit crabs. So starting off, the main things you're going to need are a plastic tote or a spare uh, glass tank, whichever one you have on hand. I had one of these on hand, so that's what I got. You will also need some Eco Earth. The compressed stuff you actually get more in than the loose stuff, and it's a lot easier to get the proper consistency with. And I have some pre-mixed in this bucket already with the water that is dechlorinated. You'll also need some play sand that I have right here. I have some more if I need it. You'll need heat pads. If you only have a normal heat pad that you would use to uh, help your back or your leg or whatever part hurts, you can use that for a short period of time, but most of them have an automatic shutoff, which with Herma crabs you need a constant heat. So I have that, and then I also have this little one for now, but I do have another one coming in the mail that will be big enough for this. You will need two plastic tubs, one for fresh water and one for salt water, food dish, plastic canvas for the pools to get in and out, air stones for inside the pool, airline tubing obviously, air pump, I have a splitter to make it so that I can have one uh, air stone going into both pools, some decor, and obviously some rocks or some type of uh, thing to put on the bottom of the plastic tub so that the hermit crabs can get in and out. So now we're actually going to start with mixing the sand and the eco earth together in the tub right there and uh, once we're done that I'll come back and show you the rest of the setup. So we've added the eco earth from the bucket to the tub and now we've added the rest of that play sand into the tub. So I'm going to mix that up and once it gets the proper uh, consistency and that there's enough water mixed in that it's not going to end up pooling at the bottom, I will come back and show you how to decorate it and go from there. So I'm just mixing up the play sand here to make sure that it's the proper consistency. Usually you do a 5 to 1 ratio of eco earth to sand. So a good way to tell if you have the proper consistency of sand is basically making it sandcastle consistency. So if you can build a sandcastle in it, you got it good. So now I'm going to add the two pools here, salt water and fresh water, over on the side. So now I have the plastic canvas that I'm actually going to add to the pools to make it so that the hermit crabs can get in and out of the freshwater and saltwater pools. Then I'm going to add the gravel that I have on top to make it so that the canvas doesn't fall out. Okay, so now I actually have the pools done, so I'm going to show you what I did. So there's one on either side. There's the plastic canvas right there. It's covered by the gravel. And then we have the same on the other side. So now I'm going to add the heat pad to the side of the tub. Now a key point, I don't know if you can see right here, but there's the line of my substrate. You want the heat pad above the substrate so that way it heats the air and not the, the dirt. So this is actually a heat pad that I've used before so it won't be very sticky. So I got myself some duct tape just to be able to stick it back on. keeping in mind that I'm leaving room for the other heat pad that will be coming in the mail. So now that I have it completely covered, Usually with these heat pads, you're not supposed to add any type of insulation, but I find that if I do and keep an eye on it, I'm okay, but there is a chance of a fire hazard. I am going to add some on just because I know this plastic isn't very good at keeping the heat in.
there we go. So that part's done. The only time I would ever use this heat pad is if the temperature and the humidity is not high enough in the tank itself or the tub. So I would use this to raise the heat up, um, but only for short periods of time until I get the other heat pad because the other heat pads are definitely a better and safer option than using this constantly. So now I'm just going to add some decor to the tank, to or the tub in my case, to make it so that it's a little bit more homey for them in the meantime of having them in here, either for transport is what you'd use this for, or for a short time in uh, the tub to be able to set up a proper tank that has the proper substrate depth, with which is about twice the size of your biggest hermit crab, or six, inch, six to eight inches, which is a really good ratio. And then also another little tidbit for the pools, you want them deep enough so that your largest hermit crab can submerge himself in it. Can't forget the food dish. And there we go. Now we just have to add the lovely salt water and fresh water and put the lid on and our gauges as well as the air stone and we're good to go. So as you can see here, I have pierced two holes in the lid for the airline tubing to be able to power the lovely little air stones in the salt water and fresh water pools. And there we have it, our lovely little travel tote or ISO tank for hermit crabs. I have the airline tubing up here, which is plugged into an air pump. I just have to plug it in. We have our heat pad on the back. Obviously you want one rated for your size tub or tank. And inside, we have our decorations and our pools. That's about it. The things you want to remember when it comes to hermit crab care, just the basics, no pellets, fresh foods if you can, offer veggies and fruit. They will, they are scavengers, so they'll pretty much eat basically anything, but there is safe foods and not safe foods, which I'm not going to get into today. Um, and then also you want to keep the heat around 80 uh, degrees Fahrenheit and then also the humidity around 80% for them at all times. That way you keep them nice, health, healthy and they'll live for a long time because hermit crabs can live up to around 40 years in captivity as far as we know. So in that case, take good care of them. I'll see you guys next time. Like and subscribe if you want to see any more of my videos and leave a comment if you think I should make any other videos on some of my care that I, that I can tell you about my animals that I have in my room.